Problem is, brothers and sisters, we're waiting too late. We have some feel been ready. But we've been waiting too late. We become a people of reaction. Instead of pro people of proaction. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me now, are you? We'll sit back and wait for it to happen. And here we go jumping on it. We'll talk about it for a little while. Then it'll soon die. But if we'd have been about the business of doing the will of God, I can't guarantee you that this wouldn't have happened. Uh-huh. But I understand that the whole town probably would have came to its knees. There'd have been many folk somewhere saying, Lord, let us gather and pray. I'm through here now, children. Told you I wasn't going to be too long, but I've been long and I thought I was going to be. The problems now is not that the field aren't right. And it's not that the souls aren't ready. The problem here is that most of the laborers have found every reason to put off entering into the field and gathering the harvest. The problem is we're too busy doing our own thing. The problem is we'll hear a good sermon. We'll go to a good song service. We will go to a good Bible study. We'll go to a good prayer service. And after that, we'll go home back to what we were doing. Never, never, never saying a, a thing to nobody else about what God can do. Yeah, yeah. How do you know that, Reverend? Because many of us got jobs. Many of the folk that work with us do not know whether or not we are saved or not. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had a witness in here. How do you feel when you meet somebody walking down a grocery store aisle? And, and um, I know you've been there because I've been there many times. Uh, God told you to say something. And instead of saying something, uh, what you did was spoke and walk on uh, by. Is there a witness in here? And how many of you on your jobs, uh, yeah, have uh, been in and had the opportunity? And you made up your mind. Uh, I might, if I say anything, I might get fired. And so my best out here is not to say nothing. I wish I had a witness in there. And how many times have uh, you been other places and the Holy Spirit prompt you into saying uh, something to the person um, about your relationship to God? And instead of saying something, uh, you decide to keep your mouth Close. Oh, Are y'all gonna talk back to me? Uh, how many times have uh, you been in a conversation and folk put down on the church, uh, put down on the preacher, uh, put down on people in the church, and there you were, uh, would not say nothing uh, to defend uh, Christ and His work? Uh, I wish I had a witness in here. Uh, and how many times uh, have you listened uh, to folk? tell jokes uh, about some preacher somewhere uh, I make up things uh, and you know it ain't true uh, but you fell in and laughed anyhow. Uh, I wish I had a witness in here. Uh, how many times uh, has the Holy Spirit uh, led you uh, to do some evangelism work uh, and you put it off uh, because you said I need somebody else to go with me. Yeah. 
I'm through here chilling. But the Bible says that Jesus says to me, lift up your eyes and see the harvest. Yes, St. James, it's time now. Yeah, it's time now for us to stop walking around with our head buried in the sand. It's time now for us to move out as an army of God and tell somebody about the saving power of God. I wish I had a witness in there. It's time now for us to stop playing church and start doing the work of the church. It's time now to, for us to stop blaming everybody else and start taking on the responsibility for ourselves. You ought to be willing to tell somebody what the Lord has done for you. Good God Almighty. That's why Jesus said I'm in that day, good God Almighty, when you have to stand before me and I raise them questions and you say when were you outdoors when did you not have any clothes when were you naked when were you incarcerated when yeah when you were sick if I'd have known you were outdoors I'd have got you to come in and stay with me if I'd have known you was hungry, I'd have cooked and fed you as much as you could eat. If I'd have known you was naked, I would have given you the shirt off my back. If I'd have known you was incarcerated, I'd have win your bond myself. When were you like that? He says, when you do it to the least of these, you're doing under me. I'm through here, St. James. Good evening now. But there must be somebody in the in the building today uh, who's willing uh, to tell somebody uh, about what God has done for you uh, if you're willing uh, to be a witness in here uh, you ought not be ashamed uh, ain't nobody in here but safe folk uh, among safe folk uh, you ought to be willing uh, to stand and be in his army uh, and tell somebody uh, he saved my life uh, is there a witness in here? Anybody here? As you save your life? Is there anybody here? Do you know it was not for the blood covering you? Is there anybody here? Do you know on Calvary he paid the price for your sins? If you witness in here, you will not be ashamed. Get out your own game. Leave you alone and praise his name. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had some people in here. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had some witnesses in here. Yeah. 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 I'm like Paul here today. Good God Almighty. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus the Christ. What can I tell them, Reverend? Tell them this. One day, God came himself and dwelt among us. One day, they washed him off to a hill called Calvary. One day, they nailed nails in his hands and nail nails in his feet that day they lift him up and he died he died he died he died who did he die for he died for my sin and yours they took him down put him in a grave but he didn't stay in the grave He got out of the grave 
with all power in his hand. 